Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is, as you know, Martin Nobel, and today I'm going to be showing you the Windows 10 Boot Manager, which would be similar to Windows 8, but let's get to it, and I'm going to show you how to access it right now. So, first of all, just need to open the Start menu and access Settings, which is right above the Power button. And then, on Settings, go into Update and Security. And then, click on recovery and as you can see here it says advanced startup where you can start from a device so we're going to do that and it will take us straight to the boot manager just need to wait a few seconds to automatically log out from your account and then we'll be there so now we have arrived at the boot manager as you can see compared to Windows 7 and before it was black and white but now you got the full UI with the mouse as well. So, over here you can click on continue which will take you back to your operating system. You can turn off your computer. You can use another operating system. And let's say for example we do, you can choose from here. And you can also change the default one or how long it will take depending if you've installed another operating system. Now, the most interesting part is troubleshooting. Right here, it only gives you the opportunity to reset the computer, but you can go into the advanced options where you've got system restore, command prompt, system image recovery. You can change your startup settings, startup repair, or you can even go back to the previous version. This works. Going back to the previous version is a new feature of the boot manager introduced in Windows 10. Now, let's say we change our startup settings. It will give us the options that we could do. And then let's reboot the system and see what we get. So we got the BIOS. We just let that load. Then we got our startup settings where you could just press a number to choose your options. As you can see, number one, enable debugging. Number four is one important one. You could activate safe mode if needed. And number nine, disable automatic restart after a BSOD. For even more options, press F10 and you can launch the recovery mode. So there you have it. This is the Windows 10 Boot Manager. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.